I know there's a lot of questions, and I know there probably will be, but I want to share something before we actually start the worship service this morning. In the bulletin, we've had in there that we're going to have a church fellowship on February 25th to celebrate birthdays like we do on Sunday nights after the prayer meeting. We're morphing that or changing that into a lunch after Sunday morning service. Now, there's reasons for it. Uh, God has laid it on my heart that the church needs to meet, not for a church conference, but just to talk about the future of the church. We need to find the mind of Christ and find the direction for us. And so he's, since that's been laid on my heart, February the 25th, we will have an abbreviated service. We will meet and we may end up meeting down here. I haven't decided everything. Uh, we may end up meeting down here like this. Uh, and then we'll have, uh, after a brigade service, we'll have a pot, pot love, a covered dish, whatever you want to call it, a sack to lunch together. <laughs> Just make sure it's a big tote sack if you bring the sack to lunch. <laughs> uh, but we'll have lunch together and we'll have a meeting of the church. Okay? Uh, we'll have another one in March. Uh, haven't picked a date for that yet. Uh, the reason is, is we, it's Easter, and it's Lord's Supper, and there's other things going on, and I'm trying to look at the right day to do it, but it's a time when we get together, have fellowship together, and uh, share some things, I can share some things, and we possibly, if we have time, talk about them. But if most of what I'm going to share, I'm going to ask you to pray about before we talk about it. Okay. It's not my opinion. It's not Ken Butler's opinion, chairman of deacons. It's not the deacons' opinion. Although I may put them on the spot and ask from their prayer where they're at. But uh, I just wanted you to know that's what we're doing. We will do the birthdays. I've been asked if we do a short Bible trivia during that time. So <laughs> Kenneth Carroll. Y'all all, it's everybody, when we do this, it's everybody against Kenneth. Okay? <laughs> so uh, we, we may even do a short one of that, also a, a short Bible trivia to see how sharp we are and how sharp Kenneth is. Okay? Thank you. Hey, Louise. Did Kirk go first to me, or do we need to bring me? Kenneth said he'd take care of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, we, need to, we need to do that. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other any other questions about that? I mean, I've shared with you basically all, all I know right now. Okay. Uh, uh, personnel meeting at uh, 3.30 on Wednesday. I'm glad to know that. That's helpful. If you're on the personnel committee, Glenda's calling a meeting for 3.30 on Wednesday. Okay. All right. Miss Andrea Jordan, it is good to see you today. We were going to sing happy birthday to you in Sunday school, but she says, no, please don't. Uh, you can wish her as you leave today, you can wish her happy birthday. Okay. For we are here to glorify the Lord. Oh, before we do that, does everybody understand the announcement about office hours? In the world? And I, I did, I think, unless my mom fails me, send out a email about this this week for those of you getting that. Did you get it wrong? Oh, so, so I did send it out. Yeah. This isn't to say that we're not going to be here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8.30 to 5. It's just that it takes it takes me an hour from my driveway to the church now almost. Okay, It takes Lori extra time okay, to get here. And we never know when there's going to be an accident. We may be late. You may, and if you show up here, uh, like some do unannounced at 8.30, 
you may have to stand outside and wait on us. And there's nothing we can do about it. I do go to rehab. Rehab. Hope said, please don't use that word. I go to therapy Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon, right after lunch. And then I try to visit somebody after that. So if uh, you, you may come and, and, and not find anybody here, and we just want you to be aware of that. It's not that we're not here. Sometimes Lori gets <coughs> sick and has to go home, uh, and we understand that. But uh, we just don't want you driving all the way over here ringing the buzzer and we're not here. We will put a sign on the door that states we're not here, we're not here. But please, please just get in the habit of calling before you come because we need for you to stand out there and ring and ring and ring, okay? Uh, but, but there have been times when Lori and I have been late getting here since the bridge started working, okay? Any questions about that? We're not saying don't come, we're saying check first. Okay, thank you all. All right, now we're here to worship the Lord today and to glorify His name. And laying all that aside, I'd like for us to take a few moments to clear our minds and hearts as we get ready to worship Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of the Lord. Dear Jesus, we are here today to acknowledge you in this service, to exalt you in this service, to glorify you in this service. We are here today, Lord Jesus, to praise you, to honor you, to testify of your goodness. We are here today to worship you with tithes and offerings, gifts that we give from a grateful heart. We are here today, Lord, to hear from you, from your word and your spirit. So, Father, help us to purify our hearts, to repent of any sin that might block us from this to seek the goodness of the Lord <coughs> and to worship you in truth and in spirit. May we have the mind of Christ and the fullness of the Spirit as we worship today. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to begin today by singing hymn number 203. 203, Redeem How I Love Proclaim. 203. <laughs> Oh, 
over to 140. That'll be our offertory hymn as we share our gifts with him. But before we do that, is there anyone that would like to testify unto the Lord for his goodness today? Miss Francis. I just want to praise the Lord. Um, his mercies are just, you can't 